Hi, my name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video we'll have a look at some heavy duty casters from Vaco. Check out the video. Just as a quick disclaimer, this set has been sent to me by Banggood uh, about two months ago. It's a, a Chinese online store that you can uh, buy them off. No obligations, no strings attached. I've got them and I just want to share with you my thoughts on them, um, how they are built and if they're worth their money. So let's check them out. Now, initially, I want to use them on my new workbench that hopefully I will start building in the summer. But I want to try it out and see if they're actually any good and if they will be, you know, sturdy enough to take the weight of a whole workbench. Or do I need more of them or it could be totally rubbish. Now, the heaviest cart I've got in my workshop is this one. It's a house for my Titan uh, drill press and the 50 litre compressor so i'm going to take everything out uh, we'll take the uh, casters that i've got off and we'll whack these on right let's have a look in the box i actually didn't have a proper look at it although i had it about two months in my workshop now um, so, right, some paperwork. So many parts, I can't believe this. Is this really Vaco? Is it Ikea? No, it's Vaco. Look at it. Right, the casters themselves. Right, really nice and heavy duty, I have to say. This is some really tough, it's not rubber, it's definitely some tough plastic. Um, and everything looks to be... Uh, made from steel, hence the box was so heavy. So we actually got two ways of mounting uh, these casters onto a workbench or anything like that. But before I will show you that, I'm just gonna uh, put the casters together. That's actually not too hard to do. You can actually mount this as is to your workbench. And what you can do is um, place that on your workbench, right? You've got two holes for some screws uh, to place it on your workbench. And then what you do, you just slide the uh, caster piece onto the mounting plate itself. And you can use it just like so. So that's actually uh, quite an interesting feature. So for example, you've got only one set of the casters, however, you've got more of the uh, back plates. Now the reason this is handy is because how expensive these are, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. To take them out, take the lever up, slide it out, job done. Okay, I've got all of them sorted. Now I could just attach them as they are with this plate to my uh, cart. However, I'm really curious to try this out. So we'll go with this fixing and uh, we'll see how it goes. Now, as per instructions, they recommend to use these uh, to mount the plate. However, I'm actually not going to be installing this on a workbench, i.e. I don't have legs that I could, you know, attach it like that. So I'm going to use my own fasteners. Right, as per instructions, I'm going to mark an inch and a half just over here make the marks and we'll drill some holes if you're going to decide to actually go for these plates just take off the spring it makes the installation so much easier. Okay, with the plates installed, now we can uh, try to insert the casters. Okay, that was simple enough. There is obviously a bit of wobble here. Um, however, I would imagine when on the load, that should be quite stable, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. Well, they work. The card is floating around like nothing, as you can see. 
However, let's have a look at this then. Right, now the card itself, as you can see, is steadily on the ground. Um, you can't move it. So yeah, that's not too bad. It, that feature works. It's definitely easy to put the casters back in operation. Just with your feet. Not bad at all. However, that's just an empty box. Let's put some weight in this. Let's check it out. No issues at all in lifting it up. And it does move with ease. Although I have to say the casters usually want to go their own way rather than uh, my way. However, I would probably suggest um, attaching the casters directly uh, to Workbench or anything else. I think there is a little bit play with the plate that we installed on my cart. So let's check it out then. How easy is it to actually take them out? Raise the lever and take it out. Well, that's quite simple, isn't it? Now, let's try to put it back in. Not bad at all. Now, one thing I need to mention to you is the fact that they actually are sticking out by 16 centimeters from the parameter, from the workbench or anything else you're gonna be attaching it to. And that is a hefty amount. Um, as per description of them, they are made for workbenches, really heavy duty. They're supposed to cope with a weight of 300 kilograms. And that is a lot, absolutely perfect for a nice and solid workbench. Now with the fact that they are sticking out 16 centimeters, you need to think if they are suitable for your workshop, if you've got ever so small workshop and everything needs to fit in snugly, you will definitely struggle with these. Okay, so we have established the installation is not too bad. Putting them together is not too bad. And I have to say, this is my personal feeling about it. They're really well made, really sturdy, and I can believe that they're supposed to hold up to 300 kilograms of weight. They seem to be made to cope with that. And as coasters themselves, they work absolutely fine with no issues. They will not fit every single purpose, every single need. So these casters come with this plate that I've shown you that I've installed on my card. So the caster goes in this plate and that's absolutely fine hand and dandy. Now, if you've got another set of these, so for example, one is on your workbench and the second one is on some sort of a big cart or a different machine, you only need one set of casters and that's really cool. You can exchange them and use them when you want. That would be absolutely fantastic if you were able to buy more of these attachments and you can't. They come with this set and that's it. So to get more of these, you need to buy the whole package and that then makes no sense as you know why would you take them off and put them where if you actually don't have the plates so it's a nice feature i think it's a very pointless one if you can't supply these plates as a package it's actually very nice you've got all the fittings you've got all the parts you've got the keys you've got the whole lot it's a really nice and solid package However, in my opinion, the purpose of banggood.com should be that the products are cheaper, a lot cheaper. 
Now this set, in my standards for what I earn, is definitely not cheap. British pounds, that will cost you, now I've just checked it today, 45 British pounds. And that's actually on offer. Normal price is 67 pounds. If we are talking about US dollars, that's $50. However, the normal price is $126. So currently, today, they are on offer. Now, I wanted to see what you can get for that sort of money uh, that you can buy these of Banggood. And on Amazon, <laughs> more or less the same thing. Really, they look identical without the plate though. On the um, UK Amazon, that will cost you about 44 British pounds. However, on the US Amazon, they are being sold for $29. Same product as in the UK and the US is the, the same casters and the US they're only $29. So there you go guys, I think that is actually answering our question. There's nothing wrong with the quality of these, they are made really really solidly, they work no problem at all. Now would I recommend buying these? Unfortunately I have to say no mainly because of the price. If you can get really similar product to this, or more or less the same, for the same money or less on Amazon, and that's not spending too much time on search, then there's no point of getting these. However, if you can find anything that's at the same price range, then it is a very good and solid product that I would definitely recommend in that situation. Now, at the moment, that's my opinion about them. Uh, God knows what's gonna happen in the future. Maybe they will start selling them for 20 quid and 20 US dollars, then definitely go and pick him up. If not, there's no point of paying more money for the same product. Just get it on your local Amazon. Now, I'm gonna drop a link to, obviously, the Banggood version of this Vico ones. And I'm going to try to link um, the ones that I found on Amazon as well. So you can have a look, compare and uh, see if any of those pique your interest. Now, I hope this video was informative to you. And if you did enjoy it and you, it brought you some information, drop me that like button down below and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so yet, as there will be plenty of more cool uh, content coming to my channel in the future. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Take care.